I think what we can say is the words coming from Secretary of State Tillerson are somewhat reassuring. Coincidentally, uh, as you noted, he was stopping off on the uh, U.S. Pacific uh, Territory Island of Guam on his way back from a round of diplomacy in Asia regarding North Korea. He went on to say that he hasn't seen anything changed in the last 24 hours, that Americans in general should not be concerned about the rhetoric we've been hearing in the last couple of days, that the president was simply sending a message to North Korea. Now, part of that latest rhetoric coming from North Korea, that they have their sights on the U.S. base in Guam. The state media in Pyongyang uh, in the past 24 hours saying that they are carefully examining plans for a missile strike and that it would be put into practice once leader Kim Jong-un gives the word. It must be noted for our viewers that North Korea has threatened Guam several times in the past couple of years. And this most recent threat, we must also note, probably less tied to comments coming from President Trump, more tied to a flyby by B-1 bombers south of the DMZ over South Korea earlier this week. Those planes came from Guam. They're based there in Guam, and they were in response to more missile launches coming from North Korea in, in the past several weeks. Uh, Fox, as you noted also, Bill, now confirming that U.S. intelligence officials assert that North Korea can miniaturize those nuclear warheads to fit on top of the missiles. Following that report, we heard those strong words from President Trump. And one final note, uh, just a reminder from, yes, all of our experience on the ground in North Korea, it is going to take a lot of pressure to get Kim Jong-un to give up those nukes and missiles. It is very much a part of the regime, very much a part of the image, maybe the survival of this regime. And you get reminders of these things, even in flower shows, as you move around Pyongyang. He could go down fighting over these things, Bill. It's going to be a, a tough haul. Back so to unpredictable. Thanks. Greg Palcott reporting live there in London.